I'm Anil Kumar and we'll explore conversion of units and solving some word problems in this video. The, we have two questions here. The first one is how many 250 milliliters of glasses can be filled from a jug containing 4.5 liters of juice? And the second question is 6 liters of juice is shared equally among 15 persons. How many milliliters of juice will each person get? So you can pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestion. Now uh, let's go through the first question. It says how many 250 milliliter of glasses can be filled from a jug containing 4.5 liters of juice. So think like this that we have a big jug here right. So so let's say that's that's jug, jug for us and uh, this capacity of this jug is 4.5 liters. 4.5 liters is the capacity of the jug and we want to fill in few glasses which are 250 milliliters each. So we have to fill in some glasses like this and each glass here is 250 milliliters. Now the question is how many such glasses can be filled? So that is how you have to understand the question. Now to answer such questions we should have same units. You see the units are milliliters and liters. So we should actually convert them to same units and then solve the question. Do you know the relation between liters and milliliters? Well, in one liter we have 1000 milliliters. Now we are given 4.5 liters. Let us convert that to milliliters. So multiplying by 1000 means 4.5 times 1000 so 4500 so 4500 milliliters so how do we get it we need to multiply 4.5 by 1000 right at times you can also use calculator for solving such questions so we have a jug in which there is 4500 milliliters of juice right now we need to transfer this to glasses and how many such glasses can be filled in. Each glass here is 250 ml. So each glass is 250 milliliters, right? So how many such glasses can be filled in? That is the question. So we can fill a lot of glasses. Uh, let us figure out how. So the number of glasses will be how many? How do we find it? we can divide total juice by the volume or the capacity of each glass right that is how we are going to find it so to find it what we should do is we should divide 4500 milliliters by 250 milliliters correct to get the number of glasses so let's use our calculator we will do 4500 divided by 250 and that is equals to 18 so we get this as equals to 18 glasses. So we can fill in 18 glasses. Do you see that? So we can fill in 18 glasses. You can also check your answer. How to check your answer? You do 18 times 250 and see what you get. Do you get 4500? Let us do it. 18 times 250 equals to 4500. So that is the kind of check, right? So it is important to check your answer also sometimes. Uh, that helps and ensures that you got the right answer. Now let's do the next one. It is 6 liters of juice is shared equally among 15 persons, right? So how many milliliters, how many milliliters of juice will each person get? So since it is 6 liters, we want to convert to milliliters. First step is we write 6 liters equals to 6 liters times 1000, right? Since there are 1000 milliliters in 1 liter, right? So we multiply by 1000. So we get 6000 milliliters of juice. Now that is to be shared among 15 people. So each person gets how much? So each person gets... 6000 divided by 50 right so that much milliliters of juice each person will get so let's do it using calculator 6000 divided by 15 equals to 400 
so 400 milliliters of juice is what every person is going to get right so that is how you could solve this question i hope solution of both the questions is clear to you now try some questions from your book thank you and all the best